Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your October reading. I don't even need to talk. Like the cards are going to intuitively come out. I feel like you're giving too much of yourself, but you already know that. What's new, right? What's new? Six of Pentacles. And I want you to ask yourself, and this is one of the things that um, we're going to be talking about in the self-alignment workshop that I'm giving tomorrow. So on Saturday, October 5th, you can sign up for the workshop. And it's going to, we're going to um, talk about the six ways that we are blocking ourselves from living our best life and we're going to talk about how to stop doing it and one of those ways is overextending yourself for the benefit of others who don't give back to you and it's almost even like if you think about it it's almost even in a hierarchy system that six of pentacles because that guy there, these, these people down here that are begging, right? There's like a classification here. Are you doing this so that you can prove something to yourself or to somebody else? Just asking an honest question. Like, are you overextending yourself because it's something that you want to do? Nobody ever wants to overextend themselves with without, I mean, let's be honest. Yes, there are some very selfless people out there in the world. You guys can be extremely selfless too. Virgos are extremely selfless too. But we all have a breaking point. We all have a breaking point. And you cannot constantly give and give and give and give and give. And expect for things to be balanced or be in alignment. And if you are doing this for somebody else, for their growth and their happiness, that's going to be a short-term satisfaction and something needs to change. So we do have an earth sign. So we have... The Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Death card. Something has to change. I think you guys were like, are you going to say something? Yeah. And the reason why that something has to change is because you're planting seeds and there are things that you want to be able to accomplish and you want to be able to do but if you're so worried about surviving how do you accomplish all of the things that you desire all of the things that you want to manifest Some of you are teachers, like could be spiritual teachers, you could be actual real teachers. Um, but like I said, there's some kind of leveling up that you, your soul is pushing you to do right now. And the magician and the hierophant are telling you that with the seven of pentacles, I know I didn't show you any of these. I got so excited over here. So I have the Seven of Pentacles. I have the Queen of Cups. There you are. And we have the Magician and the Hierophant. Part of this is what am I supposed to do in life? What is for my highest good? What's my life purpose? Do you know what your purpose is? It's to learn the lessons that you wrote in your soul contract. Your mission, you have a mission too. 
Your mission could be a spiritual teacher, a spiritual guide. Your mission could be that you're a mechanic because everybody needs a good mechanic. It could be that you're a hairdresser. That could be your mission because everybody likes to look good. It could be that you work, you're supposed to be a grocery store attendant or a grocery store cashier because you're supposed to be of service as your mission. It doesn't have to be glamorous. Your mission does not have to be glamorous. Your mission is usually being of service to others, which is what we all really should be striving to do is to be service of others. Did you know that this life is not about you? It's also not about the people that you're constantly pouring yourself into and not getting anything else back. It's about showing love in an unconditional way. Because I feel like what's happening here is you being of service to other people right now. It's not necessarily in a way like you being of service to yourself and you being of service to people in a selfless kind of way, that's one thing. But if you're being of service to somebody and they're just taking and taking and taking and taking and taking and you keep doing it and you're like, I don't wanna do this anymore, but I keep doing it, right? You're gonna get drained and you're not gonna be able to do it anymore. I'm just, I'm just saying. <sighs> Let's clarify. Let's see what the Six of Pentacles is. Where, oh, are you placing your energies? Sorry, I got to get that. It's that time of year again where I get to have a blanket on my lap <laughs> all the time. Um, the Ace of Swords on the Six of Pentacles. So what's really amazing about this is I feel like there's a conversation that you're going to have and you're going to be like, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm tired of giving so much of myself all the time and not getting anything back in return, you know? So let's see what the queen of pentacles is. Because I feel like something has to change. And I feel like if it's with an earth sign, possibly with a Virgo or a Taurus, um, you know, are they even aware? Are they even paying attention? Are they aware of what you're doing and how you're doing it? And are they paying attention? Or are you... Oh, okay. So then we have the king of swords. Swords on swords on swords on swords. So you could be dealing with an air sign with earth in their chart or an earth sign with air in their chart. Strong air. Um, it's so interesting, though. I feel <laughs> it's so interesting, though. I don't feel like there's an argument. I feel like there's a silent standoff. I feel like both of you have things to say to each other or things to say at all, period. And you're not doing it. Or maybe you have things that you want to say to this earth sign, but you don't feel like you can because they're so standoffish. Right? Does that make sense? So let's see the death card. The ace of wands on the death card. So here's the thing, Cancer. I feel like there is going to be a turning point in October, um, where you can no longer continue doing the things the way that you were doing them. I think that something has to change. And I think that you're really aware of it. But um, this turning point has to happen before you make a move. 
And maybe it's because that it's like your clarity. Like that was the sign that I needed to be able to make my move. You've, because I, and I, the reason why I think you were aware of it is because I feel like you've been planting seeds all along for yourself to level up. Like your intention is very clear. I want a happy life. I want to stop giving so much of myself where nothing is coming back to me. How do I do that? I focus on myself, right? But there's something of significance with this earth slash air sign. Oh, you feel guilty. But what if I leave that person behind? in all of these manifestations? What if I leave my life behind? What's going to happen? And that seven of swords, and here's the other thing that we're going to be talking about tomorrow. How rejection is, is a form of blessing. Rejection is actually a blessing. It's actually the universe saying, I have something better for you. And Knowing and having faith, faith is knowing. Faith is not hoping that God's going to show up. Faith is knowing that the universe has your highest good in mind, right? Um, that seven of swords on the seven of pentacles, I do not want you to feel guilty about planting your seeds. Because you are leveling up. And the more you are leveling up, the more you can be of service in a selfless way without feeling like, how do I say this? Be of service, not in a selfless way, be of service, but also take care of yourself too. Like you can do things selflessly. But if you're not recharging your own batteries, which I feel like in this situation, you're not getting the opportunity to do that. And that's why things have to change. You have to recharge your own batteries. You have to focus on yourself too. It's one thing to give of yourself and give of yourself and give of yourself. And that's great, right? But it's another thing to give of yourself so much that you lose sight of yourself. Because this isn't about you. But in order for you to do what you are naturally put here to do, which is to be of service, you have to take care of the human vessel. You have to take care of your own soul. You have to take care of your own energy. You see what I'm saying? Because as selfless as we want to be, it can be very hard sometimes when you're not taking care of yourself. So you cannot feel guilty for wanting to level up because the more you level up, the more you take care of yourself, the more you level up, the more you manifest into your life, the happier you're going to be and the more service you can be to others. Do you see how we just went full circle? Because you're probably like, Betsy, you're not making a lot of sense. I know. I went around it like in a very strange way. But I wanted to show you all the little nuances. But, 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 you see? And that Nine of Cups on the Queen of Cups is clearly showing how well you, how much you want to manifest right now and how you probably could easily manifest anything right now. So let's see. Yeah. Turning point, oh, Ace of Pentacles. There's an opportunity, and I want you to align yourself to this opportunity. And when I say align yourself to this opportunity, I don't mean um, killing yourself. Like, I don't want you to hustle to make things happen. I don't want you to push things into happening. Uh, where there is resistance, don't lean into the resistance. Pull back. And say, okay, I feel resistance. 
It's time for me to look in another area. It's time for me to go in another direction, right? This Wheel of Fortune on the Magician and the Hierophant is saying that your manifestation abilities are going to be lit. In fact, that I might have to call the video something to that effect. Um, if you've been struggling to bring money in, and here's the thing, is it's not about having more in life. It's not about like, I don't, it's not about think, talking, thinking about the lack mentality or what you don't have that's going to bring you more, which is another thing we're going to talk about the self-alignment workshop. And if you can't make it to the live self-alignment workshop, I will be sending out a recording and I'm doing two more workshops at the end of the month in, on the 21st and the 27th. Those just aren't available yet to purchase or to register for. Um, but when you're out of alignment, that's when there's resistance. And when you are thinking about what you don't have all the time, that is a lack mentality, which is resistance, right? But when you're flowing and you allow the universe to, to take everything out of your life, that's no longer working for you, and then replace it with amazing things, that is going with the universal flow. You see how that works? But that tower has to come down before the Ace of Pentacles, and it may be that the Ace of Pentacles is the tower, or the tower is the Ace of Pentacles. You will be finding some kind of stability in the rubble. Or this is your opportunity to see what the universe is trying to offer you. Um, three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Uh, and the Seven of Cups. I do feel like the people that you have surrounded yourself with in your circle um, will be there for you. I feel like these people, you need to hang on to your soul tribe right now. Really, really hang on to your soul tribe. Uh, and know that everything that's coming your way, Seven of Cups, even though it looks like they're, like it's overwhelming and there's a lot of it, um, I feel like you're going to, like just opportunities are going to start coming in. And life is shifting so much for you. But it might feel really chaotic and a little fr like frustrating at first, right? Um, it'll settle down. Knight of Swords, Page of Swords, and Judgment. You may have words with someone and it's inevitable you will not be able to, and it could be an air sign or it could be the earth sign with the air qualities. But um, it's almost as if this, the, these words, this argument, this, I feel like it's almost a, like a challenge in a way, like a back and forth challenge. That's what it feels like. Judgment is saying, this is part of your lesson. You have to learn. And it's, it's in relating with other people, you know. So, Cancer, this isn't going to be a bad month. I just think that you have so, you're doing so much and you're doing so much for other people that you're not really able to, to um, focus on what you need to do for yourself. And that's where I want the tipping points to be. I want you to start being able to focus more on what you need to do, you know? and less on what other people are asking of you, okay? I love you guys. Um, we're doing weekly meditations and um, Reiki healing circles on Sunday evenings. Uh, if you cannot join live for those, those are also recorded, and then I send out the recording the next morning. Um, uh, they've been amazing and powerful. We also have the self-alignment course workshop going on. Saturday, October 5th, and um, 
to pre-order your six month, your 2020 six month forecast. Um, go to my website, fearlessintuition.net. If you pre-order, you will also get December. Those pre-orders will be scheduled in the first two weeks of November. But if you pre-order now, if you get your get in, and I'm, I'm doing this so that I can schedule for the holidays, um, figure out what like the time off that I'm going to get for the holidays. So I'm trying to get my readings in um, when I can. So that's why I'm doing the pre-order. Um, if you want to do a pre-order, uh, you will also get December. So you're actually getting seven months for the price of six months. And I love you guys. Take really good care of yourselves, okay? And um, join us for a meditation and Reiki healing circle. They've been phenomenal. Like, I am above and beyond grateful and excited about the healing circle. So um, take care. Have a wonderful October. Bye.